Welcome back to Age of Wonders Planetfall. If you'd like to check out the game, there is a link in the description. We have my first outpost, Jammy Dodger, right here. And uh, we're going to be uh, outfitting our new commander with a whole bunch of units. So let's, uh, let's start merging some of those together. And we obviously just want to keep that guy just to have him kind of in the vicinity around here just in case we have an army that comes nearby something along those lines and otherwise we're just going to continue walking around with the rest of our forces obviously i'm going to need to reinforce our other commander over there too so let's see what's actually going on here well we obviously cannot move any further than where we are right now we can select some additional research Apparently we've already done the nanite support, which is pretty nice. Should we get heavy laser applications? Laser strikes, incinerator modules. Incinerator modules are pretty cool because this basically makes it so that laser weapons have, as you can see there, an 8 strength chance to set targets on fire, causing burning. Additionally, this mod grants the unit 10% increased damage on all abilities. Pretty awesome. I think, are we, are we already attempting to get engineering? Yeah, yeah, we're already getting we're already getting engineering. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Now we also have frontier facilities as well, which obviously allows us to have all of that stuff. And we are currently doing production development. Okay, so now orders required. Let's see. Okay, so this is our opponent right here. We're going to have to attack him. So I think we can actually do that. Let's see if we can do it. Now you can build forward bases if you don't have your current outpost connected to that particular zone so for example if i had a connection here so if i created a uh what, what is it called now it's it's the other thing you know it's the the other thing what, what is it called ah uh, i have i've forgotten for some reason i've forgotten i don't know an annex that's it there we go if i had an annex right here in this zone then i would be able to make another annex here or should be able to obviously I am kind of new to the game, so I'm, I'm still learning a couple of things, but yeah. If I had something around here, then I might be able to annex this as well, but as it stands, you're only able to build a forward base, and it doesn't really do anything apart from give you a little bit of presence in the area, so to speak. So it's, uh, it's decent, you know, it's okay if you want to try and prevent the enemy from expanding or anything like that. Anyway, let's see. Imperial Energy Stash. We might want to go over there, or we might want to go over here and see what's going on. I kind of don't want to move any further because we don't have that many units. Let's actually produce a trooper instantly right there. And we could get some scouts as well because apparently someone actually told me, or a couple of people told me actually, in the comments that these, uh, these owls, I mean obviously I, I knew they were scouts already, but they have a really, really cool purpose where you can actually split them away from the army and then you can just send them to kind of like scout around so that you can see more of the map. And that, in my opinion, is very, very useful. Obviously something I am too dumb to do, so <laughs> I will try to do that a little bit going forward. But thankfully it's only turn six, so it's not like I've made too many Operations grievous errors, have I? So let's see here. By integrating the spaceport satellite network systems with our own tactical networks, we can make pinpoint tactical strikes with far greater speed and accuracy. The energy cost of tactical operations is reduced by 30%. In addition, tactical operations can now be deployed in the first turn of combat. So if we wanted to, we could take that, which I might be inclined to do. I, I don't know. Can I actually even... I could... Do I want to do it? Sure, why not? I'm, I I don't really know whether it's any good, to be honest, but I'm going to try it nevertheless. Let's attack these guys. They have... Okay, so this is a low-risk battle, so I'm just going to auto-combat this, because if we have a risky battle or something like that, I will head in to a manual situation. That's kind of what I'm going to make a compromise about because generally I would much prefer to just do auto-combat all the time just because I am so bad at the manual combat. But I've, I've got to get better somehow, right? Anyway. Who treads there in the shadows of my throne, hiding like thieves? Come closer into the light, let me see your faces. Ah, it is you, the ones who claim to have returned through the spatial rift. Tell me, soldier, what was the name and designation of your mission? 
My name is Jam Jams. <laughs> it was given to me by my ancestors. Yes, anyway. Commanding officer of the VES Frontier. We secured the Katoni system, deployed through a Type 4 cryosleep mission 197 years ago. That being said, and with all due respect, you'd better have a bloody good reason to treat us like this. 197 years, 58 days, and 20 hours ago, to be precise. The Frontier seemed like a fine ship back then. Congratulations, Commander. You have passed. So it is true. The void, star vo void storms, even, have subsided. This is excellent news. I would invite you all to a celebratory dinner, but as you must have noticed, we are barely sustaining ourselves. Oh, okay. So apparently he does know us. I do owe you an apology, Commander, though you must understand our situation. When the planet lost contact to Vanguard Central Command, it had no means of supply. Far, uh, soldiers make for bad farmers, and as rations grew short, tensions with the Vanguard began to boil. They split into different parties, the Emerald Ruby and Sapphire Squad, while alas only a few remained loyal to the Paragon. Since then they have been fighting over food, weapons and resources, laying waste to the planet with experimental Promethean weaponry. They assault anyone and raided all other Paragon command posts. We were desperate, but now, with your arrival and the prospect of rejoining the Union, we can surely put an end to this tragedy. Alright, so we are actually being given a Paragon Guard, or you can sell it for energy. I'm going to take the reward because I think that that is really cool. Ah, this is actually one of the first times that you get to see one of our commanders level up as well. So as you can see, these are all of our hero upgrades. There's a massive amount of them, and I'm going to be going for Deadeye because this basically gives you more accuracy and critical chance, and in my opinion, that is invaluable. So I'm actually just going to go for that. And once again, we are just going to be merging these armies together. Oh, is that, is that actually a... Oh, that's a commander. Whoopsie. Okay, I actually did not want to do that. How do I split them? Removes army from the list of... No. How do I split these guys? I actually have no idea how to split them, which is a problem. Maybe... Ah, there we go. All right. Okay, I understand now. All right, so that's actually... <laughs> I did not realize that that was actually a commander. That is kind of bad. Oh, well, never mind. So let's head over here. Oh, okay. So we... Uh, they have an army power of 280. We have 290. That is not going to work. So I'm going to have to move away again. And we'll have to do something about that. We do have another enemy here, but there is a quest to do in the distance, but I would like to eliminate the enemy first, perhaps. I'm out of move points. Isn't that fantastic? Yes, that always happens to me. Oh, well, never mind. I could technically run around with two commanders in one army, but I feel like it's kind of a waste. Don't you think? Maybe it's kind of a waste. Well, uh, let's have a look here. So, I, this is a scout, so obviously it is extremely good at what it does. Look at how fast it moves. Really nice. And we are going to be attacking this. This is a safe battle, so let's just auto-combat that. Get that out of the way. And then we can technically... Can we do an annex here? I think we might be able to. Yes, there we go. So now we can annex this sector. So this basically means that you can then utilize the resources in this area for your outpost, which I think is pretty cool. So we're going to do that. And we have an army power of 330. That is really awful. That is something that I'm, I'm definitely not going to be doing anything with at the moment. I'm going to have to try and increase my production. I think the production is sorely necessary. And I think I'll move over here now. Okay, so let's have a look here. Is there something I can do to increase my production? Well, look at this. This is the Recreational Dome. I think the Recreational Dome is personally something that you just have to get because it's going to increase your happiness by a pretty significant amount. As you can see right now, we're currently having minus... Is that minus two, really? Are we having minus... Yeah, we're having minus two, but we are getting much more food and things like that. But yeah, that's pretty bad. So we should probably try and increase our happiness as much as possible. All right, so we now have an exploitation. So that basically what we can do now is we can exploit this area for something. And I don't exactly know what to go for. So, hmm, 
Sector we okay, can we select this and have a look? Okay, so it has a derelict power plant, and it grants an additional plus five energy when in energy exploitation. So that's obviously a thing that we could potentially do. And yeah, okay, so oh wow. That's actually really nice. Possible research, arid exploitation. All energy and production sectors on arid gain plus one level. That's obviously very nice, but I won't be able to do that just yet. So I guess what we will do with the exploitation here, this is the wrong wrong, wrong menu to go to. That's also the wrong menu to go to. I need to go here. There we go. So the exploitation, I wanna do industrial. So I'm gonna do industrial just literally because I wanna get more production as fast as possible and we'll see what we can do with that maybe it's going to be a mistake but we'll try it out nevertheless okay so we have something else going on here geothermal instability in this sector all right so we have the paragon we wish to talk to your prefect and there ah there we go there's there's another one over there so that's interesting hopefully i won't get attacked with my little scout I would not be not be too pleased about that, to be honest. All right, so uh, you know what? We're just going to move this into here, just merge them for a second, and now we're just going to attack this group because we can, and it is a low risk battle. So I will I will do automatic. Ah, oh, we lost a unit. Well, that's obviously bound to happen. We gained one colonist. That's nice, very good, and I believe now we will start to get some additional vanguard troopers and I'm actually just gonna wait here it looks like the paragon faction is actually giving me some uh, nice stuff or at the very least giving me a quest to get some nice stuff so let's have a look behold here is a compendium compendium of cultural moral and philosopher uh, can't speak philosophical topics and how to handle them come before us adorned in the trappings of moral refinement all right so 91 paragon expectations of civil life i actually have no idea what that means but i suppose it means that i need to produce knowledge is that it i need to produce 91 knowledge before 10 turns are up maybe that's it anyway I'm just going to continue moving over to this sector here. I have annexed this other zone here as well because I'm hopeful that maybe in the future I will be able to get arid exploitation or arid research done. And then as a result, I will be able to utilize all of those different places. So I have actually moved my scout all the way over to the prefect. And it seems like there doesn't seem to be anything going on here. What about trading? Well, I have 79 influence and I can buy things that's that's basically it I can buy things so I, I mean that's pretty good you know it's not too bad but I don't know whether I really want to do anything for that right now yeah no nah, probably not thank you very much okay so was that it that, that was it interesting kind of surprised that we went all the way over there for that. Ah! Oh, very nice. Jams, Jams, I should have known it was you who had returned to leave six. The air has reeked of arrogance ever since I heard the reports about the landed sleeper vessel. Valentine, somehow I'm not even surprised to find you alive. Bad weeds grow tall. Still, I never expected you to turn against your precious Paragon friends. What happened? Did they no longer look handsome enough for you? Typical. Mocking other people's misery. While you were frozen solid, the rest of us struggled for survival. My position granted me cryosleep access. With a war to fight, I've been in and out of cryosleep in anticipation of some sign the Star Union would return. Imagine my disappointment to learn it's just you. Spoken like a true hypocrite. This is why I always enjoy chatting with you. Fun times aside, don't you agree that it is time to end this unnecessary bloodshed? Unnecessary? I am not surprised that you fell for Hua Jiang's innocent act. Yes. Ha, huh, I'm very good at pronouncing names. Anyway, <laughs> go ahead. Ask him what he did that night in the Elysium Parks. For my cooperation, prove you're not just after my supplies. Go to Sector 43B. Pyrex fires threaten our energy sectors. Quench them, and we can talk again. 
Right, so we'll get a Vanguard Walker, which is a tier 3 weapon. As you can see, it's pretty pretty powerful. Find a way to convince Michael Valentine to end the infighting between the Vanguard, either through diplomatic or military means. So I either have to kill him or... Yes, reach an alliance with Michael Valentine himself. Okay, and we also can extinguish this. So, uh, yes, a geo... Okay, so hazard removal... Geothermal instability. I guess I will accept that quest. I actually do have the opportunity to remove hazards So I might be able to do something with that, but we will find out Soon I would assume so let's just continue moving onward End my turn Michael Valentine is now moving so haha he has actually become uh, his own commander so to speak and he is going to be wanting to do something to us, most likely. So let's have a look at what's going on here. We can't move any further. Uh, let's let's actually combine these two armies. I think that would probably be the best way to go. And we'll just have our main army going over here. Attack these. Ah, out of movement points, of course. And this this little thing actually has a uh, an army power of 80, which is pretty good. So let's tell it to go over here. There we go. Just merge the army a little bit. And uh, we're going to get these guys to merge as well, hopefully next turn. And I'm actually unsure how I'm supposed to do this. As you can see, oh, it's going to cost me quite a... Wow, well, it's going to cost me a lot of cash. And a lot, a lot of other things. But uh, I guess it's worth it, question mark? I don't know whether it really is, to be honest. Because if I think about it, it's kind of a pain but I guess we'll see maybe it is gonna be worth it we'll see all right so let's attack these guys that's a safe battle let's just go automatic that's a, yeah that's that's some dead units and we gained another colonist very nice okay I'm, I'm happy with this I'm happy for my colonists also by the way to be on automatic later down the line if I feel like it maybe I'll try and dedicate a couple of colonists to other things personally I feel like right now Everyone's doing a pretty decent job. Technically, what I could do is I could select them to focus on food and energy, or I could select them to be off food. I mean, technically, it doesn't. we don't really need them to be on food, to be honest. So maybe we should just do this, and maybe something like that? No, that's not going to work out too well. Uh, we don't really need energy to be focused on that much. So what about something like that that seems pretty good because then we get much more in the way of production and we can get start getting my units out there i think that seems pretty cool okay so let's do something like that and obviously because i am going to want to create another army you know with another commander and things that's obviously going to make all the difference so let's see if i can head over here who's that Okay, that's a Paragon unit, and these are some enemies. So I guess we'll just take out the enemies. What is this, new recruits? Have you come to prove yourself to the great Hui Zhang? Oh, I am so sorry. So sorry. Anyway, and his Emerald Squad, be strong, be quick-minded, be disciplined. Master your skills, and you may yet be chosen to fight in the front line as we retake the Molten Earth Arsenal. Hui? Is that really you? I thought I would never have the chance to meet you as a grown-up. When did you join the Vanguard? Do you have a wife and children? How did you survive for such a long time? There are so many questions. And Fang, my dear brother, does this mean he could still be alive as well? Impossible. My family is dead. If my father were still alive, he would shoot you himself. Tell your squad leader his attempts to trick me into confidence will be met with gunfire. Oh no! It pains me to see that my brother decided to conceal the truth about my cryosleep mission, but this is no lie. I am truly your father's sister, and I can prove it. Commander, I need your help. There is an interlocking pendant, a sort of family heirloom. The, my brother's piece is hidden in a repair station. It was our secret. If we can recover it, he will believe us. Seems like I have three options here. I can support Lieutenant Jiang on her search, wait for a different opportunity to convince Mr. Zhang. <laughs> Yeah, it's peacefully. I'll use military force to bring this to an end. Right, so I can search the repair station. Might make sense. Or I can just destroy him 
in all kinds of ways. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? I really don't. I really don't know what to do as a result of that, but Reduction I suppose we ready. will see. Uh, this is a low-risk battle. Let's do it. There we go. All right. We're actually pretty close to losing one of our units here, so I'm a bit worried. I don't know what we can... This guy's neutral. This guy's neutral, so maybe we can do a quest for him, or... Ah, no, I think... Oh, you know what we need to do? These, these other commanders are actually taking the role of the AI, basically. So, you know, like in Civilization and, and other... 4x strategies you're going to have other other factions vie for control of the of the map and that's exactly what these enemy commanders are all about anyway we know now that the different squad leaders have been employing promethean weaponry throughout the planet zhang mentioned the molten earth arsenal which had to be reconquered so i would assume it is the supply base where those weapons are stored and manufactured sounds like a place that we should pay a visit I'm still not sure if Valentine was mocking me when he referred to the Elysium Parks. Sending me on a wild goose chase through deteriorating pleasure parks sounds like something he'd enjoy. Still, I cannot ignore the possibility that he has a point. As opportunistic as he may be, Michael Valentine is still a vanguard officer. Vanguard officers don't joke about war. Objective well, who knows? Completed. Maybe he is. Anyway, there you go. We actually did complete Exquisite Morality, which is our quest to produce... I would assume knowledge. I I think I did it. I think I'd be able to do it. And now we have to look for the Molten Earth Arsenal from which the other Vanguard leaders obtain their Promethean weapons. Ooh, interesting. And we can also explore Elysium Parks to learn more about the incidents that led to the escalation of the Vanguard conflict. And we're going to be gaining another unit, which is a Tier 1 Skirmisher. Interesting. Not that powerful, but it might be useful. And now... We can do something about this. All right, hazard, hazard removal. I hope that that's working. Okay, so what's this? Cosmite is of finite qu quantity, a rarity even for the Paragon. To keep good relations with us, we request a tribute. Is Gandhi gonna declare war on me and then nuke me? Maybe. Anyway, uh, let's do a quest, accept a quest from the demanding faction. How much Cosmite do I have? I have 65 and I get five per turn. Mm, I'll accept the demand for now. I don't think that was a good idea, but we're going to try it nevertheless because I don't really want to... Oh, I don't know. It's it's just one of those things where you're kind of like, oh, should I, should I not, you know? I don't know, really. Oh, well, never mind. Okay, so we're just going to continue moving our forces over here because I would like to be able to... I mean, look, we, we own a pretty pretty decent portion of the map so far. We own three zones. I don't know how well the other factions are doing. As you can see right there, we can barely just see the edges of both of them. And I believe that's actually going to be it for this episode. If you'd like to see more, then by all means let me know. Otherwise, you can check out the game through the link in the description. I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.